uh, working and the components involved in operation of this simple vapor absorption cycle. Okay, so before we proceed, uh, so uh, we know in vapor absorption cycle, we generally use pairs of refrigerant and a solvent. So today we'll discuss a simple cycle. So here refrigerant will be the ammonia, that is NH3, and the solvent will be the uh, water, that is the H2O. Okay, so, <clears throat> so let us start with the schematic diagram. Uh, so we are having uh, start with the generator. Okay, so this is a uh, generator part. So generator contains uh, a mixture of this solvent and refrigerant that is uh, NH3 plus H2O. Okay, what are this? Now, as we know that this water has a very strong affinity with this ammonia. So this water holds uh, lots of ammonia. Okay, it means if you, uh, if you uh, go by the means statistics, yeah, at so uh, 13 degrees Celsius, water is capable uh, to dissolve almost uh, a thousand times uh, of its own volume of ammonia vapor. So you can imagine uh, the water holding capacity of water. And uh, one point is very, very important here. This, this water uh, or ammonia holding capacity uh, depends on the pressure and temperature. Okay, so as... Uh, uh, temperature increases this water holding capacity uh, sorry ammonia holding capacity decreases so it is an, an opposite okay so now before we start with this generator part and in generator we we are using external heating source okay so it can be anything it can be a waste heat mostly it is used in a, this vapor absorption cycles are used in a waste heat recovery system so it might be a waste heat so this uh, waste heat um, increases the temperature of this uh, refrigerant plus solvent and uh, this uh, water will uh, sorry this ammonia vapors will get separate out okay so this um, separated ammonia vapors will go to the uh, condenser part Okay, so this is condenser. This is condenser. Okay, so as we know that condenser is a heat rejecting device, so it will reject heat to the atmosphere. Since it rejects heat, this vapor becomes liquid. So let me draw here so this is NH3 vapors okay high pressure can we say this is high pressure vapors now this high pressure NH3 vapors goes to condenser condenser will reject heat since it reject heat this vapor become liquid Okay, so it will go into the pressure reducing device. Okay, expansion valve. You can see this is expansion valve. In expansion valve, pressure reduces. This NH3 vapors becomes, yeah, we can say this is NH3 liquid okay pressure will remain same only phase change will happen in the condenser in the expansion wall this nh3 will remain a liquid okay there will be a, a minor flashing but uh, overall it remains unliquid and pressure becomes low that is very important okay it is low pressure and it's the liquid. Now, 
uh, pressure is low, it is in liquid, so it is a perfect solution to use in the evaporator. So this is goes into the evaporator part. Okay. Evaporator. As the name suggests, in the evaporator, this NH3 liquid will get boils. Okay. During the boiling process, it has to absorb heat. So it will absorb heat from the system. Okay, system which we, we want at a lower temperature. So this liquid becomes vapor. It's a boiling process. Okay, so it becomes vapor. Now when it goes to a vapor, then again it goes to the uh, compressor and the cycle continues and this happens in a vapor compression cycle but this is in vapor absorption cycle and the main aim of the vapor absorption cycle is to uh, the, remove the compressor part so for that purpose we are using this generator part okay I should write here this is generator okay so this is generator part and uh, to replace the compressor, we are using generator plus uh, absorber. Okay, so let us take another very important. Okay, so this is absorber. Okay, this is absorber. So what happened in the absorber? When this vapors in this generator vapors are get separate out, uh, the low low uh, low concentrated uh, water is there, so that is been taken to this absorber part, and here it will get separate sprayed. Okay, so it is called. Okay, again, uh, the generator is at a higher pressure, so we need a, a pressure reducing ball. So there will be a one pressure reducing ball here, okay, which will reduce pressure, and it is called uh, weak solution. Okay, it is weak solution. Why it is weak solution? Because NS3 will already separate out. So it is mostly it contains water. Okay, so this weak solution passes through this pressure reducing ball and sprayed into the absorber. Now what happened? In the evaporator, we know there is an uh, ammonia liquid before evaporate. After evaporate becomes uh, NH3 or ammonia vapors okay this ammonia vapors will be uh, given to this absorber and this ammonia vapors will be get absorbed by this weak solution why because we know the characteristic water is having very strong affinity with the ammonia vapors so they will get absorbed and we are getting strong solution okay so this a strong solution uh, again need to pass to the generator so this strong solution is again uh, lifted again we know that generator are higher pressure so we need uh, a pump okay to lift this so by using pump we are providing this strong solution okay it is a strong solution Strong solution is given to the generator. Okay. And uh, the cycle continues. Here, what happened in this absorber part? This weak solution becomes a strong solution. How this weak solution absorbs this ammonia vapor and becomes strong solution and it provided to the generator. Okay. So uh, this is how this entire uh, 
cycle works. Now, this is very a uh, simple uh, web absorption cycle. In actual practice, we are having here analyzer, okay, then uh, which will separate out uh, the water vapors. Then again, uh, to increase the efficiency or COP of the cycle, we are having uh, here also, we are having one uh, heat exchanger. And again, we are also having one, one heat exchanger here. So these two heat exchangers will increase the COB. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> again, uh, if we see this absorber part, absorber will reject heat actually. It is a heat rejecting process. It is exothermic process where this ammonia vapors are combining with the uh, this weak solution and it becomes strong solutions it is a heat rejecting device so q is rejected here similarly q is also rejected here in the atmosphere and q is added here this is q added Okay, heat is added here, heat is rejected. During evaporation, heat will get absorbed. Okay, so again, uh, there is, if you understood this cycle, uh, then uh, there is a one more point which is very important that uh, this is generally not used in uh, most of the application, okay. So with this vapor absorption cycle has a very peculiar applications, uh, but uh, nowadays it it it, it becomes uh, uh, more famous uh, because of this nature friendly or environment friendly uh, nature, and the biggest advantage of this simple vapor absorption cycle over the vapor compression cycle is. Uh, the use of uh, low grade energy. Okay, it uses uh, a low grade energy, a low grade uh, heat. We can say. Okay, so by using this low grade, low grade heat, you can use uh, this vapor absorption cycle and produce uh, um, uh, refrigerating effect where you can go for at least uh, around or minus five degrees Celsius uh, refrigerating effect. Okay. So if you are having any uh, doubt, please do comment and uh, thank you.